day 76 of the war in Gaza, and the IDF says that the offensive in the north is completed in and around Gaza City and is moving to outlying areas of Daraj and Tufa. In Gaza City, the IDF unveiled a massive tunnel network under the former Hamas capital that has served Hamas leadership before and at the start of the war on October 7th. Hidden beneath Palestine Square in Gaza City, the vast tunnel network allowed the free movement of terrorist forces below ground. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Netanyahu has reiterated that Israel will continue the war until the end, with Hamas eliminated. Whoever thinks that we will stop is detached from reality, said Netanyahu. We will not stop the fighting until all the goals that we have set are achieved. The elimination of Hamas, the release of our hostages, and the removal of the threat from Gaza. Hamas has reportedly rejected the Israeli offer of a one-week pause in fighting in exchange for the release of another batch of Israeli hostages. The terrorists say that there will be no new hostage deal without an end to the Israeli war in Gaza. The Israeli proposal would have allowed more humanitarian aid into Gaza and freed hundreds of Palestinian security prisoners in exchange for about 40 Israeli women, sick and elderly hostages held in Hamas captivity. U.S. President Joe Biden said he did not expect a second hostage deal to be struck in the coming days, despite intense activity in Qatar and Egypt to broker such an agreement. In the north, the IDF launched a rare preemptive attack on Hezbollah targets. Lebanese media says Israeli fighter jets struck over 20 kilometers from the border. Israeli airstrikes targeted an operational command room terrorist infrastructure, a military structure, rocket launchers, and a weapon storage site belonging to Hezbollah. At least three Hezbollah terrorists were killed, bringing the total number of Hezbollah killed since October 7th to 118. In response, Hezbollah fired a rocket salvo at northern towns. Two projectiles landed in Kiryat Shmona. The salvo included at least eight rockets, two of which landed in the city, causing damage to infrastructure, homes, a preschool, and cars. There were no injuries reported. Four rockets were fired from Syrian territory toward the Golan Heights. The IDF struck the sites where the rockets were fired from, as well as a post belonging to the Syrian army. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.